fantastic. And being a Sunday, ladies and gentlemen, I, I thought I'd make it a bit lighter this morning, a bit more uh, story-like, a fairy tale perhaps. I have uh, two pieces of paper, facts and fiction. Facts and fiction. Before I begin, can I just acknowledge the taxpayers and the ratepayers in the room? And thank them so much for their contribution to paying for our hospitals and schools and aged care facilities and roads and all the things that we all need. And the NDIS. Uh, and ladies and gentlemen, to thank the organisers. This has been a fantastic conference so far and already. Now, like all good stories, all good fairy tales, fantasies, novellas, sometimes horror shows, they all start sort of the same. So once upon a time, a long, long time ago, well, that actually it wasn't that long, it's sort of now. So now, in the country of Australia, this is the highlight, the country of Australia. How good is Australia? There is nowhere better than our country. So right now, in Australia, there was a dastardly villain. And given this is a fiction, a fantasy, well, we should give that villain a name. So for today, I've decided I'll call him Chris. Now, Chris, Chris needs a last name, and I thought I'd go to the crowd for suggestions. Have we got any suggestions for our dastardly villain? It's a mango. Bowen's a mango. Uh, but look, sure, it's, it sounds a bit weird, but we'll go with that. So our dastardly villain, Chris Bowen. Now, Chris, Chris has a dream. He has a dream. Uh, and you've seen that dream play out over the last year. And uh, there were some comments from the former chief scientist uh, which really narrowed down what that dream meant. And that dream is forests of wind turbines and oceans of solar panels. Now, that's not my dream. I like our forests as they are, uh, and I in particular like our agricultural land not covered in solar panels and wind turbines and producing food. Food for our country, food for the world. There's a lot of debate around what's fact and what's fiction. So I thought I'd dig up just a few things and we can, we can test them with the crowd as we go. But our dastardly villain, Chris. Uh, Chris, had a, he's had a couple of quotes, so we'll test whether you think this is fact or fiction. We'll cut power bills by $275 for homes by 2025 compared to today. What do we think? Fiction. Excellent. Fiction. We will install 47 megawatt wind turbines every month. Fiction. We'll install 22,500 watt solar panels every day and 60 million by 2030. Fiction. Now that is without getting to transmission lines. 